Hi, it's Jesse Zeman, Executive Director of the BC Wildlife Federation member update towards the end of November. Good news right out of the gates. Conservation Lottery and the 50-50 was launched a few weeks ago. Uh, currently, I think we're sitting at over $200,000 for both of them, which is great news. If you have someone in mind who'd love a new truck or new hunting gear or a quad or some time away from the house, Conservation Lottery tickets are a great option. Same with the 50-50. Uh, congratulations goes out to Steve Hamilton. He has learned to hunt, learned to fish series this year. He did uh, 22 webinars for uh, BCWF members on all kinds of topics. I want to thank all of our presenters from this year, as well as Steve for putting this together. We've gotten a ton of good positive feedback from brand new members and also existing members. We'll continue the learn to hunt, learn to fish series into 2024. Uh, one uh, issue that's been taking up a lot of our bandwidth lately is the Sydney Island uh, fallow deer call. Uh, there's a lot to unpack in this one. Uh, bottom line is they are an invasive species. Um, Parks Canada wants them eradicated. Uh, from our perspective, there are cost-effective ways to get things started and to promote um, a reduction of fallow deer. Uh, not of the native black-tailed deer. Uh, of course, our challenge in this is there seems to be a lot of inconsistencies with the way uh, Parks Canada and the Government of Canada is managing this. Of course, Government of Canada has a whole bunch of stuff around Bill C-21 and quote-unquote assault-style weapons. Um, uh, they've talked to the public uh, and to us about how we need to ban a number of firearms that hunters currently use and sports shooters currently use. Meanwhile, those same firearms, it looks like, are going to be used by the contractors that are employed by Parks Canada. Uh, it's going to cost close to $6 million as a plan for the eradication. And there's also a whole bunch of other things. Uh, one of the other ironies in there is um, the BCSPCA, which has stated that the wolf um, call to save endangered caribou is considered unethical, uh, removing wolves from the air. They've now said that they support uh, the deer call on Sydney Island where they're doing the exact same practice, uh, shooting out of a helicopter. So we're living in strange times where, uh, you know, it seems the government of Canada can say one thing and do another, and so can other organizations. I guess the bottom line in this one is they are a non-native invasive species. We need to figure out a way to manage them or to reduce them. Uh, but we think there are more cost-effective approaches involving licensed hunters and First Nations to help with that reduction. And unfortunately, Parks Canada has taken a hard right turn on that one. Uh, you know, we saw that on the East Coast with a moose call as well, where I think they spent around $8,000 per moose to remove moose uh, when there were probably licensed hunters who would have been happy to go out and to pay money uh, into conservation and go out and help reduce moose populations in national parks. So we've been in the media a bunch on that. Uh, we'll continue to talk about our members' values and uh, maybe a little bit about being smart with our money and also about some of the double speak coming out of the government of Canada. Uh, CWD testing, uh, another reminder as uh, whitetail season is uh, in full swing here and mule deer season is uh, closing or ramping down in a number of parts of the province. Make sure you get your heads in, especially if you're in the Kootenays. We also have a number of um, drop off sites throughout the province where you can drop off your deer heads um, even for voluntary testing so please make sure you get in your heads in. Um, I want to say thanks to our former director of operations Sedalia Martin who's moved on to an awesome new opportunity with the city of Langley. Thanks Sid for all of your work you've been an integral part of our team and I know you've engaged with a ton of our members. I uh, really enjoyed your time and congratulations on such a great uh, opportunity in your new role. Uh, last one you'll see out on our website that we're going to have a bunch of BCWF calendars which include pictures from the Southern Interior Mule Deer Project, from the Cougar Project, and from another f number of photographers who have donated pictures. Uh, I think those calendars are coming in around $23. Again, uh, you can get your friends and family uh, conservation lottery tickets, 50-50 tickets, and then also the BCWF calendar, which has a whole bunch of dates in it uh, that will be important to you. Things like range day, uh, family fishing weekend, national hunting, fishing, trapping day, all of those wonderful things. So that's the update for the end of November. I know everybody's out busy. Uh, ice is just starting to come onto a bunch of lakes. I see a bunch of members that have been out getting their last few uh, days of fishing in and uh, we're also in full swing here as it relates to deer season so hope everybody's getting to spend a lot of time out in the mountains and on the water right now enjoying what we're all so passionate about. Thanks very much.